What's up y'all, my name is Victor. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Georgia. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the top five neighborhoods in Sandy Springs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I put out weekly videos all about what it's like to live in Atlanta, Georgia. As always, if you're thinking about moving to Sandy Springs or Atlanta, or just wanna know what it's like to live here, feel free to call me or text me. I'm more than happy to help. I'm so thankful for all of you who have reached out to me asking about moving to Atlanta. My favorite thing in the world to do is help people get acquainted with my hometown, Atlanta, Georgia. With that being said, let's talk about Sandy Springs. The first neighborhood we're gonna look at is the Wyndham Hills neighborhood. Right near the intersection of Johnson Ferry Road and Abernathy Road, this neighborhood is actually really close to the Abernathy Greenway. It's a great neighborhood. A lot of the homes in this neighborhood were built in the 70s and 80s, which is pretty common all around Sandy Springs. Let's take a look. The second neighborhood that we're gonna see is the North Springs neighborhood. North Springs is located near the intersection of Dalrymple Road and Brandon Mill Road, just a little north of Wyndham Hills. Again, a lot of the homes in this neighborhood were built in the 70s and 80s, and there are a lot of established trees in this neighborhood as the neighborhood is about 40 to 50 years old. This next neighborhood is Princeton Falls, right off of Roswell Road at Trowbridge Road. The homes in this neighborhood are a little newer, built in the 90s and 2000s. You can see there are a lot less trees in this neighborhood. Let's take a look at this neighborhood, and then after this one, we'll see my favorite neighborhood, Glenview.
Okay, moving right into Glenview. This neighborhood is right off of Glen Ridge Drive. It's at Glengate Avenue. One of the best parts about this neighborhood is just how close it is to the intersection of 400 and 285. Also, it's super close to the King and Queen building, which is a huge benefit if you are working in this area. And lastly, River Shore Estates, right off of Riverside Drive, very close to the Chattahoochee River. One of the biggest draws to this neighborhood is just how close it is to the river, a very established neighborhood with mature trees. Let's take a look at the neighborhood. Those were some of the best neighborhoods in Sandy Springs, but to get a really good idea of what it's like to live in Sandy Springs, you really need to see some of the surrounding areas around those neighborhoods. I made a video giving a tour of Sandy Springs. If you wanna see that, click on this video now. See y'all in the next one.